the future of humanity should be like this, as per Hunden Buddha. Archaeologists, through scientific exploration and research, have concluded that humanity has experienced extinction four times. The primary cause of these extinctions has been the overall spiritual degeneration and the dimming of human souls, driven by the pursuit of sensory pleasures, power, and survival resources. The most significant sign of a dim soul is the disregard for the creator not cherishing natural resources in life. Today, humanity stands again on the precipice of spiritual degradation and soul dimming, characterized by the relentless pursuit of wealth, boundless greed, and extravagant wastefulness. The depth of desires seems unfathomable, and the frenzy to compete for survival resources is no less than that of previous extinct civilizations, casting a shadow of crisis over humanity's future. I propose a path for humanity's tomorrow for consideration. The socialist collective path would result in a lifetime of poverty for the working masses, but might extend the overall lifespan of humanity. The capitalist market-driven path could provide a prosperous life for the working masses, but would shorten humanity's collective lifespan. Neither socialism nor capitalism offers an ideal path. The collective path of socialism inevitably leads to poverty, while the capitalist path, though it may bring prosperity and maximize productivity, will exhaust natural resources, leading to nature's backlash against humanity. Other paths, such as military control, are purely barbaric, leading not only to poverty, but also to social chaos. The most ideal future path for humanity is Shui Feng style communism. Please note that this is not the communism advocated by Marx, Lenin, or Mao Zedong, but Shui Feng style communism, which has been practiced on earth for 15 years and has almost solved 90% of the problems facing humanity, such as territorial disputes between countries and sustainable solutions for elderly care. The more detailed and numerous the contents and provisions of constitutions, laws, and regulations, the more complex the problems they generate. The more administrators there are, the higher the operational costs for society. Thus, when all constitutions, laws, and regulations are abolished, and society is governed by principles rather than these formalities, I have prepared the 800 values for new era human being for humanity. To live a happy life and to continue thriving on earth, all of humanity must undergo a spiritual purification. I have also prepared the course content for this spiritual purification. 2024, 20, 